Hello, welcome to Lori's DIY Life. This is Lori. Um, I got this from Spellbinders. I ordered it a couple weeks ago. And I'm hoping Okay, so it's supposed to be a layered rose. A blooming rose. And I was kind of hoping for a little bit more instruction on it, but I guess if I just do one layer of each, we'll see what happens. I always hate having a ticket. These things out. Okay. The worst part always is getting it off of this thing. And you gotta be careful. I've been. Well, these won't bend, I don't think, because they're too sturdy, but I have bent some dies. So I have somebody that wants. A rose card made. You know what I didn't do? Let's bring in a new folder yet. <laughs> so this will still work. It's just getting to the point where it's not going to anymore. Um, let me grab some paper here. Uh, what paper do I want? Let's do some yellow center pearl. Let's do a yellow rose. So it fits inside here. I gotta make sure I bring some new folders in here because this works, but it's easier if you have a better one than this. This is just a lot of work. Okay. And tape it down. Use some of my older tape. I always say, I always save it and then I don't use it. I always grab new. And that defeats the purpose of saving it, right? Okay, yeah. It's more than going to fit on here. I wonder if this is supposed to be the green. 
like part of the leaf. I bet it is. I bet it's more. You know that leaf part that goes on the outside of the flower? You know? Let me see. If I'm wrong, I'm wrong, but for some reason... I don't see any leaves. That look like that. So I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna lose those in the green. first try to get the flower made. I am not real good at roses, so I'm a little bit concerned about it. And I don't have one of the ball tools, and I probably should look at getting that. Wow, that's crazy. Keeping all that tea. The dye just went flying. Okay. Okay, so we have our five layers of yellow. And I am going to keep looking at this because hmm, they got it coming forward. But if I do that, I'm going to mess up the paper and I see. That center pearl is going to get all messed up. So maybe I better just try to do it. Let's see. So they definitely need to come forward. So I'm just gonna maybe just use my hand because I don't want to mess up this center pearl. I tried to do, um, I'm not good at it either, quilling and do a quilled rose. And that just surely didn't work out. kind of putting a wrinkle in the paper but if I do the ball it's going to bring it in right and I may make it go out and I don't want it to go out because the roses come in not out And if 
I have to work it some more, I will work it some more, but I suppose I could squirt it with water and kind of scrunch it. I just don't know because it's Centra Pearl what that would do to it. So now the problem is, is this paper is not double sided. Mm -hmm. So I am going to have to use another paper but first I'm gonna try to figure out how to get the rose to form so the roses are like this right they're very squeezed in inside then the next one would also be squeezed in I wonder if I should go ahead and glue them I think I will I think I'm going to go ahead I'm going to try the new wool because I think it dries pretty quick I do have some new glue I got but I don't know if it dries as fast. So let's start here. And see how much play we get with it. Once we got it all glued together. And I really don't recall, do roses have a center or is it just rose buds in the center? You know, the, the leaves, the petals, I guess is the word, the petals.
bit so that it's staggered. Right. Hold that, let it dry a minute. I hope this works. I have to figure it out. I wasn't expecting a rigid. I was expected a smooth edge. It's their blooming roses. Blooming rose. Okay, so these, to me, should be kind of wrapped up. around itself. It should be up pretty much and kind of closed in. You know, I might have overglued it. Then the next one should come up, right? And then the next one. is what I like about this intro pro you can really mess with it and you don't have to worry it's it's kind of tough paper to me and then these will go up and kind of out and kind of out up and then out up and out Okay, so if you're like, why am I watching this lady do a rose who obviously doesn't know how to do a rose? The reason I started my channel was every time I went to go look at a video, a card making, these people were like pros and making all this beautiful stuff and it was beautiful stuff don't get me wrong I'm not saying it wasn't beautiful stuff it was beautiful stuff but then when I tried to do the same thing do you think it worked it sure didn't come out like theirs did and I thought you know what This was like during the pandemic, so everybody was trying to find something to do. And I said, you know what, this isn't fair. Everybody thinks you're just gonna do this and do this and do this and buy that and blah, blah, blah. And you're gonna have this and it doesn't work that way. So, then I'm just gonna start my own channel and show people 
what it's really like. And so when I started back again during the pandemic, I wasn't completely new to paper crafting. I did scrapbooking way back in the year. I mean, in the years, way back, you know, years before, but I hadn't really done card making and I hadn't done new techniques and so I knew a little bit about some stuff but we sure didn't have these dye machines like we do now um, as a matter of fact I did have a dye machine and I was one of the very rare few people that I knew that had them because I had the um, six six machine, the little personal one that was heavy. I'm telling you, it was like this big. The the, the platform it was like that big and it was heavy and you had to um, the dies were still rolled. they didn't even come out they might right after I got it they started to come out with the little thin lip things but um, but when I first got mine I bought the steel rule dies the big thick ones oh they were expensive oh when I oh but anyways you had to take the steel roll in there and you had to push this lever and push it down and it you had to really push on it oh my gosh and I was one of the lucky people I was considered one of the lucky ones because I had that I wish I still had it, but that's been long gone. It was just so heavy. It didn't take up a lot of room because it, I mean, it wasn't that big, but man, what do you think? Looking better, right? Just gotta work this paper, I guess, and get it to do what I think a rose would do. And, and honestly, and I've said it before, and I'm sorry, I don't want to offend anybody, but I'm just not a big rose person. Um. But I grew up with my mom always having oh, tons of roses. Tons. My mom. Y'all, you know, she could grow a rose from nothing. She just grow a rose. My mom. She just can. She can go where they're not supposed to grow and she's gonna get it to grow. Um, when I was young, teenager, she had rose trees all along the driveway. And other ladies and people that liked roses all, always, oh, what do you do for your roses? She was like, plant them. <laughs> I don't do nothing. I go and did hit the dead flowers, and and that's about it. And but she could grow the roses. Okay, I think my rose is becoming a rose now. The only thing I can think of. Let's cut some green out. Um, and let's 
see if that makes it finish looking like a rose. And I wonder if this is going to pop those dies out again. Let's get, oh, I got to put this lid back on this glue before it dries out because we know it doesn't like that, does it? Um, tape. To tape them down, I got, here we go, leaves. Look at how tweaked that paper is for me trying to get it off nicely. Okay. I hope I can get them all on here. Okay. I don't want them. run into each other so you know we got to be careful get some of this tape here and then I think these are the things that go you know up with the flower not on the stems and stuff that's what I think they are. I could be wrong, but that's what it looks like to me. Why are there two of them? I don't know. So maybe I am wrong. But we'll see how they look. If I'm wrong and they look good, then it doesn't matter really, does it? But um, we won't know until we put it on. Some of you may know. I just don't. Okay, let's hope that keeps them from popping out. I saw deer today, everybody. I saw the prettiest deers. We went up to Williams. Up to a lake up there. Williams is in Arizona. It's the gateway to the Grand Canyon. We didn't go to the Grand Canyon. We just... Went to go look at the lakes and stuff up there, and uh, first we seen just one run across the road, and then a little bit later there was I saw one, and then next to the one was the another one, and then before you know it, I'm looking at like this whole herd of them. It was the coolest thing. And I just love seeing wildlife like that. I just don't get enough of that. Growing up, you know, we didn't have critters like that. So it was awesome. And so there was a, um, what are they called? Um, a buck, right? The male with the horns when I first seen them that's kind of who I saw was the buck the male he had the horns but then all of a sudden he wasn't there and I don't know where he went but he left the girls behind they could have cared less they all looked over at us at the car anyways and looked over and watched for a second. I guess when they saw we weren't getting out or whatever, then they just stayed where they were, but um, it was pretty, uh, pretty cool.
cool. See, I think, you know, the roses have that, um, see, now this is different paper, so it's not going to work the same way, but... Anyways, they didn't run, but the buck, he disappeared real quick. It's like, I need to tell them, for why is it that hunters, I don't know much about hunting that way, because I just didn't grow up with, I mean, my dad... What did my dad hunt for a very short while? Um, I can't remember. It was some little bird. Other than that, he, he wasn't a hunter, so we didn't. Um, I don't really know much about. But why is it that it seems like they always want the buck? Is that um, a preservation? Like you preserve the doe so they can have the babies? I mean, I know they can also shoot the does, but are they just harder to get? So it's more like a, see, that's what I thought that was, but that doesn't work that way, does it? It just doesn't. And in the picture, kind of makes it look like it would work that way. So I don't know if you're supposed to, see I'm sure the glue stuck already up. But I'm going to go ahead and unstick it. Just for this one rows here till we figure out what I'm doing it's not big enough so am I supposed to just see or is that just these it doesn't I guess it is just these, so why? Maybe these are supposed to be in. They're not supposed to be inside. It doesn't look right. I guess these just go here in the rows. And you just stick them how you want them. And you have your little stem. So let's see. Let me find some kind of background paper to put them on. Um, here's some Anna Griffin. Well, that's not very good because the yellow, the yellow goes too much with that. Let's see. They may be good for card blanks. Here's a pink, here's a pink stripe. We'll just put it up and look at it today because we're checking out these, but I might go ahead and make a bunch and, um, or cut them out and then come back and I don't usually like to do that. I like you to see everything, but you saw how long that flower took. See, I still say these look like, maybe if I do a rosebud, those will go on. Okay.
And we have the little stem. See, I just always feel like this part in the middle should be closed. And we take, and we just stick leaves around. And that seems like that's what they basically, that's what they did. I suppose these could go in there too, but I don't know. See that little rosebud? I don't know, that might be. See that little piece right there? That's that little red piece. So that must be for buds if I do like a rose bud. See how their middles are all up? That's why I say it seems like they need to be up. They don't even really look like the same flowers because these petals look smooth on top. And these ones do not. But I don't know. Maybe if I bring them all up and then let them fall. Because really, I don't want to do a rose bud. I want it to be the whole blooming rose. Let's see. And then let them just kind of fall. Doesn't look like a rose at all. I don't know. I'm gonna have to play around. I'm gonna have to try different. I suppose I could do more of the smaller ones and put them in here. Because a rose should be all the way full up. You know, they just are. Maybe a different kind of paper. I'm just scrunching it to see if it helps at all. Maybe giving it a more. Of course, the roses are very distinguished flower, right? Oh, no. I'm not happy with that for a rose, but it might just be the closest I can get. If I can't do the um, quilling, I just not not good at quilling and I'm thinking the card I'm gonna do like I don't know like really kind of like this was what I was thinking more like around like that so I would have some big ones some little ones you know some kind of like the buds here and just kind of let them hang and 
have some the leaves just around. That's kind of what I was thinking for the flower, and then and then in here, really a lot like this, but on a five by seven is what I was thinking. What I really had done was pictured these flourishes. And I was just going to do like a plain card. And yeah, I don't know if I would do that kind of bow. But this shape. Not, not a lot like that. Maybe one or two here. But that's kind of the way I was picturing it. But see, I've got to figure out how to make these roses. And I'm going to... Um, I'm going to go on their website, but anyways, this video is getting long, and I, I don't know, but um, I want to thank you all for joining me. If you like my video, please hit the like and subscribe button. Um, thanks for joining me, and I hope you'll join me again. Bye-bye now.